What's up, guys? Finally getting around to sorting out the WL toys and putting the brushless motor in it. Um, been meaning to do it for a while and just been delayed doing loads of other bits and pieces. So finally getting around to doing it. So all I'm going to do tonight is got a bit of time. Going to get the old motor, get the old speed controller and stuff out of it. Then we're going to put these in. Got a uh, 3,900 kV brushless motor from Gaul RC. Loads of these things about on eBay, like loads of them, um, and 120 amp brushless ESC to go with it. Now, I didn't buy these as a combo, I buy my stuff separately. Always recommend as well, if you are buying separately, get the biggest um, biggest ESC you can, as in with um, the amount of amps it can take. I've got 120 here. I, this doesn't need 120, um, but it will run at maximum performance with an ESC that can take um, take the power. So I've got 120 amp ESC, again from Gaul RC, and a 390 or 3900 um, kV motor. Don't need any more than that. Definitely don't need any more than a 390 in there. Um, anything more is just going to destroy it. I've put brushless motors in loads of stuff um, over the last probably five or six years. This is probably, even this is probably a bit too much for it, but putting anything bigger in it you're just going to start breaking stuff I've got metal gears in here now so it's got metal diffs all around um, uprated suspension metal drive shaft um, hopefully should hold up against the brushes in there but you still can end up destroying things if you put too much power in I'm going to use this for bashing uh, do a couple of speed runs with it as well but the brushes setup I've got will be um, absolutely fine running 2S um, in this so anyway I'm going to get the old stuff out um, and then we're going to start fitting the new bits. So we've got to remove the standard motor in there. This is a replacement I put in, it's just an old Tamiya one because I blew the last one up. Uh, take the electronics out which surprisingly for one of these has lasted quite a while. It still works fine. I see a lot of them um, don't last very long at all which has lasted fine. So take the motor out, take the electronics out and then look at uh, mounting the new stuff. I'm going to leave the counterweight in there because this thing, as you know, if you've got one of these, you'll know that it rolls over quite easy. It's always a good idea to keep that counterweight in there, uh, keep that centre of gravity a bit lower. You don't have to take all these, you don't have to take all these screws out to get the motor out. I'm taking them out so I can get to the gear underneath as well so I can lubricate it um, for when the new motor's on and make sure that the um, pinion is meshed up correctly. So I take the motor off, just them three um, screws underneath. That's the motor off, just got to take the two screws out there, we'll take the pinion off um, and then it should come out. Mounting the brushless is just as easy as any others. Only thing you've got to be aware of is make sure these are in a position where they're not going to get in the way of anything. So for this one, position would be sort of facing straight up like that, which would be ideal. So just like that, it's fine. Loads of screw holes around here, easy to line up. Put the pinion back on. Before we tighten it up, it's always a good idea just to check its location. So that's going to be spot on. Pull the motor back in, covers back on. Just need to mount the ESC. Gonna have to go sideways with it because it's quite wide, but that fit in there perfectly. What we're going to have to do as well with this is um, the servo is slightly different to the receivers, um, or most, or the standard um, receiver. I've got plenty of servo, so I'm going to swap the servo out as well while I'm here and put a better one in there. Um, and then that'll be all done. Electronics will be done then and should be good to go um, for quite a while. So, I'm going to mount the electronic speed controller, get the servo out, get a new servo in there, um, and then all good. 
I'm going to put it that way around rather than that way because if I put it that way I can then route the uh, motor cables around um, probably be neater than doing it the other way might not but I think it will not sure where the receiver is going to go at the moment it might sit just on there it should actually yeah, it will it sit under there so we should be alright so I'm going to get a new servo for this we'll get the receiver in and then should be able to take it for a run what's up guys welcome back to the garage now it's been quite a few months um, since we've seen the uh, WL Toys 12428 so now I'm running brushless I've sprayed the uh, cage grey subscribe um, I think it looks alright I'm going to do a few more bits and pieces to it over the next coming weeks apologies it's taken so long to get it back up and running but I've had a few issues with bits and pieces and I've had other stuff as you can see that I've been doing but anyway WL Toys is back up and running I've got hold of um, a couple of new batteries for it these are the uh, Nanotech 2S. It's just got a single one in there at the moment. Um, I am going to uh, modify the battery tray so we can get twin batteries in there um, just for a slightly longer run time. Still get a little bit out of this, um, but yeah. I've also got a 3S, uh, slightly longer than this, the 3S. I will try 3S, but I want to run it 2S first just to make sure nothing's going to fall off. Um, but anyway, Let's go and see how it runs, shall we? So there it is, the brushless 12428, and it does run um, a lot nicer now. A bit noisier because it's got all their metal gears in it, um, but that ma that motor is just enough power for it, not too powerful. Um, runs off road really well, runs on road really well, and um, just need to tweak the suspension to stop it toppling over all the time. So next video, I'm going to take it somewhere else, maybe to back to the skate park or a different skate park. Um, and I've got some more plans for this in the future. So cheers for watching. And uh, remember to hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And I will see you next time.